Welcome back. I have been in nursing school since August of 2019. For those of you who don't remember, this was before the pandemic, really. Where I lived, it really happened, the shutdown and everything, March of 2020. I just wanted to say that nursing school has changed completely as to what it was before the pandemic. And that is something to really consider before jumping into a nursing program. Because any degree, um, but especially a nursing degree, is a hefty investment. It's not just about money, it's your time, it's your energy, it's your effort, and it's a lot of money. I sadly feel like i've come to the conclusion love and passion for the job is not enough the relationship whether a job or a person has to nurture you and fill your cup as well or else you're just harming yourself in the long run and it was really confusing for me because i felt so passionate and in a way still do feel so passionate about nursing i still feel passionate about helping people and my mission with that. However, the way I have perceived my purpose in my life has changed. My core values over the last couple years has changed. The pandemic has drastically changed me. Working as a student nurse in the ER during this pandemic, working in the CICU during this pandemic, it is not easy, even as a student. And people around you are quick to say, um, keep going, keep going, keep going. But in a way, it wasn't really what I signed up for. Because many people are like, well, you can graduate and just have your degree. It's a really good degree. And although I'm not saying that's not true, you have to ask yourself, is it worth the investment? So then when I asked myself that, I looked at how much I had invested into my degree and I felt pressured like i had to finish a year into the program when i first started questioning it it was really when the program just went upside down with the pandemic it shifted and not just that but i have been going through personal things the program is really less than ideal to get people that would be outstanding nurses to a hospital especially when we are in such detriment for nurses because um, the fact of the matter is I was going to this college for two years doing my prerequisites to get into the program. I am an excellent student so I can my point is is I can take material I can learn it and I can memorize it and with nursing I am able to use the critical thinking and bridge the stuff we learn in school into our clinical very well. This is something I feel is true. This is something that my clinical instructors have told me. This is something my professors have told me. I am technically a fourth semester student. You know, I just finished my fourth semester, so the fifth semester is the last semester in the program I'm in. It's an RN program. And honestly, um, I have learned so much. I'm so grateful for all the opportunities, the experiences that I've gotten to experience, the people that I've gotten to help. I'm very, to the bottom of my heart, deeply grateful for the experience of being able to go through the nursing program and thankful that I was able to do that because for a long time growing up as a kid it was my dream to go to college. It was my dream to get a degree. It wasn't always my dream to be a nurse. I've always been drawn to the medical field and I've always wanted to do something that's helping people. My heart's been always pulled to creativity, to making art and that's what really nurtures me and fulfills me. When I'm working as a student nurse in the hospital and I'm doing the day-to-day -day activities of a nurse, I enjoy it. I do. You know, of course there's things that people don't like about it and I don't like about it, but at the end of the day, I enjoy helping people and I enjoy, you know, critical thinking. I enjoy using my mind and I have a lot of value to bring into the nursing community. I really believe that. And what it's come down to is I am so burnt out by this program that um, to go on anymore, I would be continuously, continuously sacrificing my mental health. 
it's come to a point where I had to decide, is it going to be my mental health or is it going to be my career? And then I considered my core values and looked at the reasons I chose nursing in the first place, why I was still doing it, and to the bottom of my heart, it was one of my dreams to graduate nursing school. I, this semester, and my fourth semester, have put my heart and my soul into this program. And I tried really hard. Um, I did all my clinicals. I passed all my clinicals. I did excellent with my clinicals. I passed my validations. The beginning of the semester, things felt really strong. My first test, I made my first D, and I was really discouraged, but I put myself back up and I was like, hey, we got, you know, four more tests, we can do this, and I had put so many hours into making sure that I had a good balance of working so hard towards studying and learning and clinical and having a good balance between that and self-love and relaxing and TLC because you need that stuff and it really I made it my mission to do that this semester but I've I have really because no amount of self-care even really makes a difference with the stress of it it's not just because you're in school it's the school is so much that it consumes your entire life but you also have another life so we're in a pandemic right now we're going through a lot you know me personally i have had a lot going on i got out of an abusive relationship when i was in this nursing program i've been healing from that and i have been healing from my grandmother's death she died from covid and I had COVID. I had to defer a semester for medical leave because I was sick with COVID and I ended up with COVID, bronchitis, strep, and just really this program has been an uphill battle for me. And I have been very determined and felt in my heart this was my purpose to be a nurse. And after trying so hard day in and day out this semester and just continually just failing my tests, it came down to I failed this semester, my fourth semester. Now this is the first semester I've failed. So I can, in nursing school, a fail, a failing grade is anything below a 75. So you have to have a 75 or above to pass. So even if you have a low C, you failed out of nursing school. And you have a chance to remediate, to apply for remediation, which is one chance, one semester course of remediation, they go over stuff, nursing, it's a whole semester. And then you have to redo the entire semester you did, even if you did all your clinical hours, all of them perfect, you have to redo everything. And then pay for everything. That's where, like, do you know how much I paid this semester? Tuition and fees and rent and cost of living and the fact that you're working in the hospitals and, you know, it's clinical hours, so you're not getting money in your pocket from working. In a way, you're paying your money to work. And so you don't, you lose that time in your life to be working in a place where you could be making money. So it's a lot of investing to get this degree, not just in money, but in your time, your effort, like I said. So even though I believe, my professors believe, my clinical instructor believes that I can be an outstanding nurse, that I can contribute a lot to this field, that I would love nursing and feel passionate about it, and I do believe that that's all true. And that's why it was such a hard decision for me to make. Honestly, when I considered my dreams, my core values, and what I've always wanted to do with my life, nursing was one of the things, but it was always a stepping stone. So in a way, I grieve for this decision to choose to not remediate and not finish the program, but considering the factors of the investment of another year and a half into this program, however much money to pay for it and the time, the energy, I am burnt out. I don't want to work bedside nursing anymore and that's something I have to do in my clinicals. I wanted to do something else with my nursing degree other than bedside nursing. I found that out pretty quickly and I don't mind bedside nursing. I enjoy it in a way. I just know that that wasn't ultimately what I wanted to do. But the fact that I have to do that, I have to work in a CICU or an ICU or an ER um, for my critical care nursing again during a pandemic, I don't want to do that anymore. I can't. It was traumatic for me. I know that sounds 
Now a lot of people might hear that and call me a snowflake and that's fine, but my grandmother, I watched her die of COVID before my eyes and she couldn't even breathe. And then I'm in clinical and experiencing like the trauma of it all over again because we're in the pan, I don't, I don't wanna deal with, I don't, that's not in a way what I signed up for. It was like, yeah, I wanna be a soldier on the front lines of this pandemic and I wanna be a nurse. I can see that lifestyle for myself so clearly and I could see myself in a way loving it and enjoying it but when I really think down to what would nurture me what I really want to do with my life my biggest dreams when I think about my biggest dreams and not just what I think is like possible like going to a community college and getting a nursing degree when I think about my dreams I think about being a youtuber and being an actress and modeling and making art and writing books and a million other things I can go on about and doing yoga, being a yoga teacher, anything in martial arts. I just want to live my life focused on my passions and at this point I don't want my decisions to be ruled by money and security all the time. I want, I mean of course I want a balance of rationality but I need more of a balance of that taking risks to go after my passions and what I desire and what I want. That is truly what I yearn for in my heart and it took me a long time to realize that and to accept that because I love nursing but I have to pursue my dreams and yeah for a long time I told myself I can pursue my dreams and be a nurse but being a nurse is a full-time job and it's not just something I can do anymore to just get the degree and then pursue what I want to do. There really honestly isn't a reason I shouldn't have passed this semester. I almost feel like it's divine that I didn't, even though some people might think that sounds crazy. So be it. I, I don't know. I just believe in my heart that everything happens for a reason. You know, and yeah, at times I was screaming and crying and cursing and feeling like my life is completely over. Literally, literally. You know, I can't express to you how hard it is to like let go of nursing and let go of this dream. I'm someone who once say I decide something, I'm going, 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 even if I gotta start this program over, if I gotta remediate, if I gotta take out loans, I'm doing it. But I just realized it's not my dream anymore. It was one of them, but my dream, and this pandemic reminded me that we're not promised tomorrow. I don't want to work to live for another day. I want to live today, and I want my work to be for today. I want to live presently. I want to live for my passions. I'm young. I'm 22. I want to, I want to be free. I, and nursing, in a way, could have given that to me, but in also a way, it just was making me miserable, and I just didn't want to do it anymore. I just realized that it's not my dream anymore. And my dream has always been something creative. I don't know exactly what I'll be doing, what my purpose is, but I know I'm following the breadcrumbs now. And part of following those breadcrumbs was being on the path of being in the nursing program. And I thought it would include me graduating the nursing program. Just to say, I feel in my heart this is the right decision. And everyone around you can tell you you know, logically, it's stupid, and, you know, in a way it sounds like I'm dropping out of nursing school to pursue my dream of being a YouTuber. Right now, that's my goal. I want to do YouTube full-time. I love making YouTube videos. I love editing. I love interacting with people. I want to build a community. I want to spend my days meditating and journaling and bettering myself because I feel like that, in the end, is really what betters and heals the world. That's what I can do to heal the world. I want to, I want my art, my creativity, my words of my wisdom and books I want to write. I want those things to heal the world. And that's always been my dream. And these last couple of years, I've really been finding myself, finding who I am, finding my core values and what aligns with it is maybe a bit of a riskier path. So here we are. Um, I'm currently in Tennessee. I'm in the mountains, so I'm going to show y'all. I didn't always used to say y'all. I used to make myself for years say you guys because I felt so 
embarrassing y'all um but now it just slips out and i just don't care enough to stop it anymore so come on y'all howdy do i'm from alabama by the way and i just wanted to say that yes i'm from alabama but i'm looking for people of the lgbt community people that are allies of that because i'm i'm bisexual myself and i want open-minded people I want curious people, people who are tolerant and loving. I, if that is enticing, if you're like, wow, I'm LGBT friendly too, and I'm a hippie astrology witch um, vibing person as well, and I also think Black Lives Matter, and I also think humans deserve basic rights, then yes, this is the channel for you. This is where you should be, you should subscribe, and we can all be friends and spread that. Um, so just wanted to say that because a lot of people in Alabama, this is not a stereotype, born and raised here. A lot of them are racist, and a lot of them are homophobic, and a lot of them are transphobic, and a lot of them are biphobic, and a lot of them are just hateful and mean. Um, anyway. So I'm going to show you all the new.